So welcome at Adobe 2019. We're at the Adobe booth and we're going to take a closer look at everything that's new with Adobe Creative Cloud. Red Shark's NAB coverage is brought to you by New Tech, G Technology, Black Magic Design, and Adobe. So Patrick, uh, you have announced quite a few new things. Let's start with Premiere Pro. Sure. In Premiere actually we have a super great piece of innovation that is actually not about technology but all about the experience you've got with the product. Freeform is another way of looking at your media when it's in the project and so you can organize your bins in just a way that caters to the storytelling. You can freely arrange, and the name Freeform, all of your media on it. You can choose the size for the individual thumbnails. You can also have custom uh, arrangements for your metadata that just sits underneath. So if you need to see video duration to see which one is the shortest of your five takes, all that kind of stuff, all the goodies. There's label colors in that view. There's board layouts that you can save for different purposes towards the same media on input. It's just a nice way of looking at the media visually and just basically get us far away from the notion that it's files that sit someplace on this. It's all about catering to the storytelling process. And how does that not get messy? Actually, it can get messy, and that's kind of the point. You can mess around, but as you can quickly reset to the grid, as you can actually go back to a safe state of any board, that's actually kind of the point about it. Mess around until you find what you need to see. That's perfect. So anything else new in Premiere? We actually have uh, three of the top 20 requests from User Voice, a system we introduced last year to generate direct feedback from users. Uh, let me see, the top three in order. Um, the one that I think is most exciting was also the one most requested, rulers and guides, directly in the program monitor. We actually see the program monitor becoming much more of a canvas than we used to see in uh, NLEs in the past. So we're actually getting that closely in sync with what you have in After Effects. You can turn them on, you can bring rulers and guides in manually, but best, and by the way, snapping is there too, but first of all, you can also just import rulers and guides from After Effects or save the one you've got on Premiere and bring them into After Effects. Then the second one, I think equally exciting, is an opportunity in the track mixer to freely rearrange what you've got there to copy and paste something that works on one track to another. There's just a ton of flexibility there, and no surprise, that's also one of the top requests, but it's also closely related to how we're doing things in audition, so we're getting those closer together in the way they work as well. And then lastly, Warp Stabilizer is one of the most heavily used features, but it has, let's say, a lack of attention to some detail where it's clearly needed, like on output, would you want to ever render that nice little graph that says it's not finished analyzing? We've seen those things on air, and uh, the blame is on us. So we, we heard that loud and clear as well. Give us a warning, give us an option. Sometimes it might be fine to have it. Mostly it's probably better to just turn it off if you haven't finished the process and if you don't have time, or don't need it. It might be just production preview, right? So just having more control over it. We've just, just done a couple of those smaller adjustments to make it all just overall a better experience with really. it. So you talk about these top three things. Now, obviously, you've implemented a lot more into Premiere, but also in the other creative uh, cloud apps. Yeah. So maybe briefly go through some of the other apps that have been updated sure. and what's happened to them. Well, the one thing that's truly important without going into details is that we're actually tweaking the performance with all of the products. We're also looking at all sorts of stability reports that we're getting, so hugely appreciated that the community is, is actually giving us feedback as to where there's areas that we didn't look, look closely enough. Like, we have now something that tells you if you're on a supported GPU, what driver version would be the best. Uh, it's, it's even creating guidance based on that kind of feedback. Why would you call support if we can just tell you up on launch what would be the correct version of anything that actually supports the system as we run on such a broad uh, variation of hardware. Um, but beyond that, there's some cool innovation in After Effects that I definitely need to talk about. And uh, a lot of you probably have seen the cool, app, cool uh, examples that people take to YouTube already. It's very playful, content aware fill. Something that is finally. one of the mo <laughs> I know, finally, <laughs> one of the most loved features in Photoshop for sure. And we did a sneak of what that could look like in After Effects, something like almost two and a half years ago, and it's finally ready. And it's really cool. So you basically just put a really a rough mask around any object that needs to go, think tripod, think boom mic, or uh, we actually have a pretty cool example here. It's actually a car with a camera crew, and a drone was actually flying above. Uh, and a cyclist, who is actually the real deal in that shot, is just next to the car. Can we remove the car and let the camera crew disappear? Yes, we can. And it's actually relatively quick compared to a manual process. Just, you know, think rotoscoping, how much time that takes. And, and think of the tedious work that's required to actually fill with something 
that is plausible, that looks real, that has the texture of the granularity. Content Aware Flow does that work for you. Now, my maybe my, my first thought when I heard that was actually, oh my God, great feature, but how much processing power will that take? Because it does take a lot of processing power. So, yeah. um, Arguably, a powerful machine here does help, but at the end of the day, this is kind of the coffee break you want. Instead of doing hours worth of manual work, you know, letting the machine do, do its thing for a couple of minutes and actually relax and have that coffee break, I think that's, that's kind of nice or cool. Or do something else in the background, do something else in the meantime that's still productive, right? I'm not too worried about that, quite frankly. The, the real deal is actually happening someplace else. The machine learning model that was required to bring this feature to life, this is where a lot of processing actually was required to look at just enough examples to see what, what actually does work. And, and moving picture is just so much more complicated as you can't just stick to the pixels around the frame, uh, sorry, around the pixels that you're replacing. You need to look at the continuity of everything that's around it. And the in, context. In context and in, in time continuity, sure, yeah. 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 So what about Audition? So Audition actually has been used for many years in podcast and radio. Uh, and the one thing that we didn't really pay enough attention to is voiceover. And this release will bring something that's certainly not new in, in the sense that, oh, you've never heard of it, but it's, it's hugely exciting to the audition audience that has been waiting for Punch and Roll, and here it is. Okay, so uh, apart from that, what, what else is uh, newsworthy? What's, what's, what's new? What's, you have a few features, right? There's actually a focus on not too many new features, if you will, to make sure that what we've got has the right design and the right depth. So you can certainly find other things, but it's mostly in the category of those efficiency improvements that I've mentioned earlier, like the rulers and guides, like the warp stabilizer improvements. We're actually paying a lot of uh, attention to those smaller details that might not actually make the news like this. This conversation could go on and on and on if I show you this and people would drop out. But day to day, that's what it's all about, making it just better and increase the productivity and the reliability. That's really most of what this release is about.